Georgia News Now. I'm Charisma Calhoun. Coming up in local news, the Whitfield County Joint Comprehensive Plan Update Stakeholder Meeting has been scheduled. Authorities are searching for a man suspected of gunning down four people over the weekend. Dalton Public Schools is accepting applications for the Fall Ambassadors Program and meet this week's Humane Society's Northwest Georgia's Pets of the Week. And still to come, Shane Franks will share information about a GoFundMe setup to support a local 22-year-old seriously injured in a skateboard accident last month. Natalie Tankersley will share state news and Susan Ridley is here to sh present our community calendar. But first, here are the obituaries. At First Franklin Financial, we make loans for living, offering personal loans from $600 to $15,000 with fixed rates, flexible terms, and payment plans to fit any budget. And with same-day approvals, you can get your money right away. The next time you need a little financial help, First Franklin Financial is here for you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. Do you have a finicky feline? Here at Dalton Veterinary Practice in Kitty Corner, we have a unique cats only waiting area that'll take some stress off of your trip to the vet. Our office has a completely separate waiting room for both dogs and cats. We are conveniently located on Cleveland Highway. We offer wellness and urgent care appointments for both dogs and cats, Monday and Tuesday, eight to five, and Wednesday through Friday from eight to eight. Call 706-281-4770 to make your appointment today. Ah. <gasps> no! Oh, the human is digging near the water main! That seems rather risky. <laughs> Gotta get out! Why didn't we contact Georgia 811? They informed their member utilities, who sent crews to mark where the underground lines are on your property. That way there won't be a nasty mishap. Like... Contact Georgia 811 before you dig. This seems like it would be prudent. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and I'm here at Paniagua Auto Mall with Francisco Paniagua. And he's going to tell us how we can get ourselves in a good car today. How easy is it? It's very easy. If you got credit, just come see us. If you don't have credit, come, bring two pay stubs, last bank statement, and the rest we can do it here. And there's over 400 vehicles to choose from. So if you're tired of driving around in that clunker, come over here and they'll give you something you'll be proud to ride in. Thank you. Let's kick things off with an announcement. The Whitfield County Joint Comprehensive Plan Update Stakeholder Committee meeting will be held on Thursday, July 20th at 6 p.m. inside the People's Hall building at Dalton State College. This meeting is open to the public. 
In other news, authorities in Georgia hunted Saturday for a man who remained at large hours after he was suspected of gunning down three men and a woman in a suburban neighborhood south of Atlanta. Andre Longmore, 40, is believed to be armed and dangerous, Hampton Police Chief James Turner said during a news conference. The shootings happened late Saturday morning in a subdivision in Hampton, a city roughly of 8,500 people. Officials released few details about the killings. Turner said detectives were investigating at least four crime scenes near one another in the same neighborhood. He said Longmore is a Hampton resident, but declined to discuss a possible motive. The suspect remained at large more than five hours after the killings, and authorities vowed to keep searching until he was in custody. Turner told reporters that following an exhaustive search in the general area, police and now are now widening that search. Investigators were also on the lookout for a black GMC Acadia SUV that they believe Longmore might be driving. Authorities didn't release the victim's name, saying they were working to notify their families. Henry County Sheriff Reginald Scandrett said his office is offering a $10,000 reward for more information that leads to Longmore's arrests and prosecution. He also addressed Longmore directly, saying, wherever you are, we will hunt you down in whatever hole you may be residing in and bring you into custody, period. Located about 30 miles south of Atlanta, Hampton is home to Atlanta's Motor Speedway, Georgia's racetrack for NASCAR events. Law enforcement agencies throughout the Atlanta area and the, and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation are assisting in the manhunt and investigation. The shootings marked the 31st mass killing of the 2023, taking the lives of at least 153 people this year, according to a database maintained by the Associated Press and U.S. Today in a partnership with Northeastern University. If you have any more information on the whereabouts of the suspect, please call 770-946-4513. Now here's another announcement. Dalton Public Schools is once again accepting applications for the District Ambassador Program. The program, which began in 2022, is designed to provide community members with an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of the day-to-day -day operations of the school district. The goal of the District Ambassador Program is to create a group of invested and engaged ambassadors who are passionate about students and schools and want to become knowledgeable advocates of the district. For the online application, please visit the Dalton Public Schools website at daltonpublicschools.com support slash ambassador dash program. Participants will immerse themselves in the ever-evolving world of education and hear about local learning initiatives as well as the financial operations, recruitment, and safety standards for the district. These ambassadors will be given a behind-the-scenes look at the district through touring schools, attending extracurricular events, and hearing some of the district's key players. The sessions will last about two hours from 6 to 8 p.m., one evening a month from August to November. Individuals who successfully complete the program will become Dalton ambassadors in the community and will be honored as graduates at the December Dalton Board of Education meeting. There is no fee to participate, but attendance is required at all sessions. Anyone who is interested in the program is encouraged to apply online. Are you ready to meet the Humane Society of Northwest Georgia's Pets of the Week? Here they are. Jade and Bear are adorable Athens Pincher dogs, also known as the monkey dog for their expressive faces. Jade is a four-year-old female and Bear is a nine-month-old male. Bear is mixed with wired hair terrier. Both are very bonded and must be adopted together. Jade and Bear love being with people and are very good with children. Calm and quiet, Jade is a love bug that enjoys snuggling. She is quite smart and knows several tricks, including sitting up to give you a high five. Active and playful, Bear thinks all toys are his. He isn't quite yet learn to share. Jade is such a sweetheart that she just lets him have his way. When not at play, you will find them curled up together for a nap. Both of these pups are already house trained and well behaved in the home. They do well around some other dogs, but both prefer each other's company. They have not been around other cats, but the Humane Society is willing to test that for you. Jade and Bear are anxious to be in a home right away. Apply today and come meet them. The Humane Society North of Northwest Georgia is a local organization supporting the human companion animal bond, and it is only funded by the generosity of donations and adoption fees. Donations can be sent to HSNWGA PO Box 3946 Dalton GA 30719. Now let's check in with Shane Franks here to discuss a GoFundMe event going on right now in support of Michael Evans, a local 22-year-old who suffered a serious skateboarding accident last month. I'm Shane Franks, sales representative here at WDNN. On June 24th, 22-year-old Michael Evans, son of local business owners Tommy and Cora Evans, had a serious skateboard accident which resulted in being airlifted, where it was discovered that he had a fractured skull and a brain bleed on the right side. Michael, confused and scared, had no memory of what occurred and had to be sedated. His parents owned the local Cowboy Coffee Cantina. This has been understandably difficult for his family. 
There are medical expenses that will begin to pile up due to all of the testing he is undergoing and care that he will likely need at home as well and any other accommodations he will need to make his care easy and more comfortable as they continue to run the family business. Our community has always been one of heart and soul and a place proven to stick together during difficult times and also one to stand with those where it might be too weak at the time for them to do so. There are always times when we could use a helping hand. Here at WDNN, we are reaching out for this family and asking for those who might to do what they can to help this family during a time of need. Even a little bit can go a long ways when God is in it. To lend your support to Michael and his family during their time of need, please visit GoFundMe and search Help for the Evans Family. Thanks so much and God bless. Thank you, Shane. Definitely a worthy cause. Still ahead, state and national news from Natalie Tankersley and community calendar by Susan Ridley. Stick around as your local news coverage continues. Do you have a new home project? Come to West Yellowknife. We've been providing doors, windows, flooring, and unfinished cabinets for four decades. We have new, unique, and exclusive items weekly at a price you can afford. Let our friendly staff assist and point you in the right direction. West Yellowknife, conveniently located right off of I-75 at 2226 Chattanooga Road, Dalton, Georgia. Come let us make the job easier and make your dream home complete. Thank you. Thank you, North Georgia. Gracias, North Georgia. We appreciate you, North Georgia. I'm Seymour. I'm John Moore. Like the Georgia Bulldogs, we're number one. Thank you, North Georgia, for voting us number one six years in a row. If you're hurt and want the best, give us a call. We'll do the rest. Experience the power of the Lynx. OptiLink streaming app VidLink, powered by its fastest internet service, GigLink. Your link to reliable remote access to healthcare. Your link to the best educational opportunities. Your link to our community's only local provider. Your link to the ultimate in entertainment choices and gaming experiences. No interruptions and faster downloads power up your life with the perfect combination of speed and entertainment. VidLink and GigLink. Upgrade today and get the power of the Link. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and uh, today we're here to discuss seafood, one of my favorite topics. We're here at the Juicy Seafood, conveniently located on Walnut Avenue in front of Walnut Square Mall. Juicy Seafood started off in Alabama and they have uh, spread all through the south because everybody cannot get enough of their food. They have their own unique seasonings exclusively to them that they make and their food is made to order right there on the spot. They also pride themselves in their friendly staff. So if you're wanting something a little bit different, maybe you're tired of burgers, come try the Juicy Seafood. My car looks totally ruined. I don't even know what to do. Locally owned Dalton Collision Center is the only choice when it comes to all of your auto body and refinish needs. Our experienced staff provides quality work from start to finish, will help with your claim, and even assist with getting your rental car. Everything from A to Z. So you can focus on life, we can focus on getting you there. I got hit by a tree. I was enjoying a beautiful afternoon ride on my motorcycle when a dead tree from an apartment complex fell on me. I was really hurt. The insurance company refused to pay. A friend told me to call Warren and Griffin and they proved negligence. Warren and Griffin is the five-star law firm that got me a six-figure settlement without going to court. I'm C. Mark. I'm John Mark. If you've been hurt, call us 529-HURT. That's 529-4878. We are your local law firm. Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. I'm Natalie Tangersley, and here's some things going on in our great state of Georgia and our nation. Georgia's Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, applauded the recent passage of H.R. 4563, the American Confidence in Elections Act, or the ACE Act by the Committee of Administration of the U.S. House of Representatives. The ACE Act was approved 8-4 to four along, with a, along a party line vote with Republicans supporting and Democrats opposed to common sense election reforms, including measures proposed by Secretary Raffensperger in a letter sent to House Speaker Kevin McCarthy earlier this spring. ACE incorporated four out of five proposals from Raffensperger, including strengthening voter ID provisions, preventing non-citizen voting, strengthening list maintenance, and banning ballot harvesting. 
Secretary Raffensperger said he hopes that Congress will continue to evaluate additional list maintenance proposals, specifically ending the 90-day federal blackout period for conducting list maintenance. He said that the ACE Act is substantially based on Georgia law and that Georgia's election should serve as a model of security, accessibility, and accuracy for the rest of the nation. Following the 2022 midterm elections, the University of Georgia released the Georgia Post-Election Survey, which showed that 99% of Georgia voters reported no issues casting a ballot, with 92.2% saying that the SB202 either didn't affect or made it easier to vote. During the hearing, this survey was entered into congressional record. Raffensperger said that Congress finally recognizes that casting a ballot in Georgia is easy and more secure than ever before, and that the election reform was implemented two years ago, resulting in record-breaking turnout and extremely high levels of voter trust in the outcomes and satisfaction with the voting process. According to Raffensperger's office, Georgia is recognized as a national leader in elections. It was the first state in the country to implement the trifecta of automatic voter registration, at least 17 days of early voting, which has been called the gold standard, and no excuse absentee voting. Georgia continues to set records for voter turnout and election participation, seeing the largest increase in average turnout of any other state in the 2018 midterm election and record turnout in 2020 and 2022. 2022 achieved the largest single day of in-person early voting turnout in Georgia midterm history, utilizing Georgia's secure paper ballot voting system. Most recently, Georgia ranked number one for election integrity by the Heritage Foundation, a top ranking for voter accessibility by the Center of, for Election Innovation and Research, and tied for number one in election administration by the Bipartisan Policy Center. In other news, the AHLA Foundation recently announced an inaugural No Room for Trafficking, or NRFT, Advisory Council, which includes top leaders from across the hotel and lodging industry. AHLA Foundation's No Room for Trafficking program aims to unite the industry around collective anti-trafficking efforts that meet the needs of today's hospitality employers, employees, and the communities they serve. In their role, NRFT Advisory Council members help champion and shape the hotel industry's unified efforts to support human trafficking survivors with critical resources on their path toward empowerment and self-sufficiency, while uniting and inspiring the industry in the continued fight against trafficking. NRFT Advisory Council efforts include the development and oversight of the NRFT Survivor Fund, which will provide community-based organizations with the resources they need to engage and support human trafficking survivors. AHLA Foundation President Anna Blue said that the same group of leaders assembled as part of the inaugural NRFT Advisory Council underscores the hotel industry's deep commitment to fighting human trafficking. She said that with their leadership alongside AHLA and the AHLA Foundation's steadfast commitment to this effort, she will continue to work across her industry on critically important human trafficking prevention efforts. The recent announcement builds on the hotel industry's ongoing commitment and work to prevent human trafficking and support the economic stability of human trafficking survivors. AHLA Foundation's NRFT program has supported free anti-trafficking training for hundreds of thousands of hotel employees since 2020 through a partnership with ECPAT USA while building awareness of this issue across the industry and its stakeholders. Additionally, AHLA Foundation in 2022 announced expanded efforts to support trafficking survivors through the industry's first ever survivor fund, which has raised $3.4 million since its inception. AHLA Foundation will match NRFT Survivor Fund contributions up to $5 million as part of its continued commitment to combating this issue. Later this summer, the NRFT Advisory Council will announce the inaugural NRFT Survivor Fund grantees at the second annual NRFT Summit. The AHLA Foundation, the charitable giving arm of the American Hotel and Lodging Association, is dedicated to helping people build careers, improve their lives, and strengthen the lodging industry. They provide impactful solutions that drive the recruitment, retention, and development of individuals for lifelong careers in hospitality. To transform the industry and change lives, they connect the unemployed and underemployed with new career pathways and provide educational programs and resources to support their professional advancement. The foundation is funded by grants and charitable contributions from generous individuals and organizations who want to support individuals seeking opportunities to thrive in the hotel and lodging industry. Learn more at AHLAFoundation.org. 
When we return, Susan Ridley is here to share our community calendar. But first, here's your weather. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and today I'm here with Sarah from Blanca's Furniture. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Well, tell me a little bit about this place. This is Blanca's Furniture and Appliances. Um, we've been here for about 15 years. You've got more than one store too, don't you? We have two, three locations, two in Dalton and one in East Ridge. We do have living room suits, bedroom suits, dining room, all kinds of different appliances to come and choose from. We do offer financing. We have three different companies that you can choose for for financing. Well, there you go, guys. If you want some furniture and you're looking at redoing your house, come to Blanca's Furniture. Every day brings new challenges. GigLink is helping our community keep pace in this brave new world. New ways to efficiently communicate. New and innovative ways of approaching manufacturing. New ways to explore our dreams and goals. GigLink's lightning fast service provides downloads and uploads up to 10 times faster than traditional internet speeds. Perfect for today's data intensive environment. Giving us all a chance to succeed. Connect with GigLink today. I'm not lost exactly, but hey, are you planting that tree? Wait, where are the flags? The paint? Didn't you contact 811? I've dug here before, it's fine. Contacting 811 to have all underground utilities marked is the law, and it protects us all. Here, let me borrow your cell phone. Dogs don't use cell phones. Humans shouldn't dig before contacting 811. I mean, woof. Online or on the phone, contact 811 at least two business days before any digging project. Brought to you by Georgia 811. Can we keep them? When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments. Start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. I'm Susan Ridley, and here's what's going on around the area. In Chatsworth, Piney Grove Baptist Church will offer Vacation Bible School themed Keepers of the Kingdom Standing Strong in Today's Battle for Truth from July 20th through July 22nd, 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. There will be class time, crafts, music, food, learning, and plenty of fun. On Sunday, July 23rd, everyone is invited out for Celebration Sunday. Piney Grove Baptist is located at 6th Avenue. Dalton's annual Off the Rails Live concert series is underway this summer. The Burr Park stage will feature a wide range of free live entertainment that includes concerts, festivals, and more. The concerts are free, open to the public, and family friendly. Events will take place every Friday night in July and the third week in September. For July 21st, the acts are Joe Videlis, Sugar Money, and Rumors, a Fleetwood Mac tribute. For July 28th, the acts are As Seen on TV, Remembering January, and Sail On, the Beach Boys tribute. For August 4th, the acts are Kelsey Westfall, Live Out Loud, and The Core. Visit DaltonGA.com for more information. In neighboring Tennessee, it's almost time for the 5th Annual Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Conference, happening on July 22nd at the Gatlinburg Convention Center. Doors open at 9 a.m. and will go until 6 p.m. Join Bigfoot experts Cliff Barackman, Renee Holland, Matt Moneymake, Tony Merkel, and Lori Wade on stage, and meet podcasters, shop with tons of vendors in the vendor hall. Children are welcome to attend the event, however, they must have a purchase ticket. Viewer discretion is advised. There are five levels of seating starting at just $25. For more information, visit gatherupevents.com forward slash Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Conference. The Northwest Georgia Family Crisis Center's annual Little Black Dress event is set to take place on August 4th from 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. at the Weaving Room. That's 
at the mill in Dalton. Area ladies are invited to join them for a fun-filled ladies night out filled with music, dancing, and food. VIP tickets are $60. General admission is $45. For more information, visit the Northwest Georgia Family Crisis Center on Facebook. Artistic Civic Theater in Dalton presents Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, August the 4th through the 12th. This tale follows the journey of a dreamer. Joseph is the son of Jacob and one of the 12 brothers. He is given a coat of many colors by his father, which is symbolic of his favor and an object of his brother's jealousy. Tickets go on sale July 21st. For more information, visit actdalton.org. What's Cooking in Spring Place is the theme for the 26th Annual Festival at the Old Spring Place Methodist Church. A used book sale, breakfast biscuits, a bake sale, an indoor flea market, a cooking raffle, and other activities will begin at 8 a.m. on August 19th. Highlighting the day is the auction, including artist prints, collectibles, and historical memorabilia, furniture, rugs, antiques, and gift cards donated by area businesses. The outdoor auction begins at 10 a.m. The festival is co-sponsored by the Spring Place Ruritan Club. Pictures and artifacts relating to cooks, cooking, kitchen, and recipes from the community will be featured in a special display. Proceeds will go to the Church Preservation Fund of the Whitfield Murray Historical Society. For more information, call 706-695-2740 or 706-264-3968. The Murray County High School class of 1973 has announced their 50th year class reunion to be held Saturday, August 26th at the Grand View at Fort Mountain in Chatsworth. All class members are encouraged to attend this golden class reunion, marking 50 years since they received their diplomas. A sit-down meal, program, and entertainment is included, along with several special guests, including former teachers, coaches, and administrators who have been invited to share the evening with those attending. Class officers and organizers promise a great evening for all, celebrating half a century since graduation. But once an Indian, always an Indian. Reservations, along with your contact information, should be submitted by August 12, 2023. Cost for the evening is $35 per person and can be submitted by mail to MCHS Class of 1973, 1308 Leonard Bridge Road, Chatsworth, Georgia, 30705. Or you can Venmo to at Vicky hyphen sales hyphen one. For more information, call 706-517-0047 and leave a message. You will get a call back. Graduates of the 1973 class at Eastbrook High School are gathering this September to celebrate their 50-year class reunion. The event will be held at Riverbend Park, located at 1999 Riverbend Road in Dalton, and will feature a nacho taco bar with all the fixings. Cost for the meal is $10 per person. Your plus one is welcome. Please RSVP and submit the cost of meals by September the 10th. This will secure your reservation. Venmo your payment to Linda Allman Deadman at Linda hyphen Deadman hyphen one or mail your check to Linda Deadman 2098 Smyrna Church Road, Chatsworth, Georgia 30705. Organizers are hoping all class of 73 Mustangs will attend and catch up with one another at this evening of fun, food, and fellowship. There will also be a photo station for those interested. More details on that and information about the exact menu can be obtained by visiting the class Facebook page. If you'd like to submit information on your event for North Georgia News Now's Community Calendar, send an email to events at WDNNTV.com. That's it for this edition of North Georgia News Now. Be sure to visit us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Thanks for watching local. And remember, as my mother always said, it doesn't cost a nickel just to be kind. 
make sure to click that subscribe button as well as bell notification so you won't miss any new videos. Also, follow us on our social medias. Thank you again for tuning in, and until next time, keep watching local.